Are you confused by the different styles of code in RStudio? Let's sort this out. The language used in RStudio is called R. There are different ways to use it, and this can be confusing when you look at the code from others, such as in a tutorial or a book. Let's look at three ways to code in RStudio. First is what I call the onion style. To understand what's going on, you start in the middle and each layer adds a twist, changes the number or variable. For example, we can start with a variable, summarize it in a table, calculate the proportions, multiply them by 100 to get percentages, and then round to one digit. Each layer adds a function or modification. Second is the use of pipes. The idea of pipes is that we take the output of one function as the input of the next and chain together multiple calculations or modifications. In a pipe, we start on the left with the data and we do one thing by using a function and the result is passed on to the next. Then we do another thing. For example, we can start with a variable, pass it onto the table and then pass it to proportions. We get a chain or a pipe from left to right. Typically, this is used with functions from tidyverse packages, which introduce their own functions that work well with pipes, but that's not a requirement. Third, we can use intermediary steps. We start with a variable, do something and save this intermediary result and continue. So we may want to store the table, then do proportions and multiply them by 100 to get percentages, and then do the rounding separately. Each intermediary step is saved, even if you're only interested in the final number. When I say that there are three ways, all of them are legitimate code, and you can freely mix these approaches. So I can start with the proportion of the table of a variable multiplied by 100, that's onion style, and then use a pipe to round the result. In fact, even if you like constructing long pipes, or like your onions quite fat, at some stage you may want to break them up to make your code easier to understand. You break them up by storing intermediary steps. Which one should you use? You might find strong opinions out there subscribing to one or the other philosophy of programming. The main thing is getting things done and getting things right. The best way to get there is code that is transparent to you and transparent to your future self. If you prefer pipes or onions or mix them, it has to work for you. In my experience, small steps are often easier and don't forget those comments to explain what and why you do what you do.